What ethnics and cultures there are actually in Colombia? We'll find out. Welcome to Colombia! Today we are hosted by Bogota Stoke Coffee. It's a coffee that is situated between La Candelaria, the historical town of Bogota, and Montserrat. On the way there, you actually pass by. It's a very nice uh, little coffee shop, open up for too long, and they offer different sorts of coffee from all over the country. Today I welcome you. Thanks for watching, uh, Sebastian. Hello again. Uh, you you already know him, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you know me. You remember who I am. Today we're going to talk about ethnics and cultures in Colombia. I guess Sebastian is going to talk a little more because he's got much more knowledge about that. So I just will hand over the word to Sebastian. What what can you tell us about different ethnics and cultures here in Colombia? There are quite quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, still we, we have a lot and um, the reason is that uh, we have a lot of diversity in the geography here in the country. So uh, differently than, for example, in Mexico or Peru, that was a huge civilization that covered most of the territory. Here in Colombia, by the geography, as we have the Andes Chino Mountains, the Caribbean region, Pacific region, uh, the Llanos, for example, or the Amazon jungles, uh, all of these places had different kind of cultures. Yeah, so when the Spaniards arrived here, they found uh, this uh, diversity of the indigenous people. It was quite difficult in some parts because some indigenous wasn't very welcoming them. They fought back the, the conquest of, of the Spaniards. So they were shooting arrows. Exactly, yeah. They actually uh, uh, chased them in some parts of Colombia on the way here. The thing is that when they got to Bogota, what we know as Bogota today, um, they found a quite uh, organized civilization, one of the biggest ones that is called the Muiscas. Uh, and they found uh, an easy way to, to conquer them because they were more organized, more, more, the, the hierarchy was a bit more um, uh, strong. Yeah? Uh, so the Spaniards? No, from the Muiscas, and the that, hierarchy. But that, that's the reason why it was easy to conquer yes, them? Yes, because when you conquer the, chief, the, the most important chief things, they will conquer the rest of the population, yeah? Uh, and instead of uh, having to, to uh, fight against several uh, tribes or several um, uh, groups of indigenous all around the country, yeah? These people wasn't uh, very um, war uh, people. They didn't like to fight that much. They had some wars between each other and uh, the relationship with the, with the, with the different uh, indigenous cultures in the rest of Colombia was quite complex. So they had some wars. Uh, but they, they weren't that as bad as, for example, in the Caribbean region. They found a very, very strong uh, indigenous communities that fought very bad the Spaniards. So the diversity of these uh, groups is different than the other, other countries. So we have many more indigenous communities here in Colombia. Still, I mean, when the Spaniards conquered here, uh, they came and uh, they killed a lot of them by diseases, uh, killing them uh, in well, the process of conquest. Uh, but a lot of the parts of the country were very inaccessible yeah, for them. That's why we still have some communities, I would say not that touched by the Western civilizations. For example, in the Amazons, uh, there are parts that we think there are some uh, communities untouched by the Western civilization. After the Colombian constitution, there are officially accepted over a 50 different uh, indigenous languages. So, yeah, there's quite some diversity. Yeah, a lot. I mean, and uh, ethnic groups, uh, we recognize, I mean, we have a discussion there, but it's about 100 ethnic groups that share some of the languages uh, you just mentioned. It is, uh, now that you mentioned, this constitution that made the indigenous groups be recognized as, as uh, independent. Yeah. So, for example, they have from this year in 1991, they have their own territories, they have their own governorships, yeah? So for example, if an indigenous person makes uh, something bad, they rob or they kill someone, they will be judged by their communities, not by the Colombian law. They have so, their own trials. Exactly, they have their, their independence in the territories and then in, the, in the governorships. So it's very interesting that, but it's quite late because it's 1991, but we at least got it. But what about you? If you commit a crime in uh, La Guajira, which is also uh, indigenous territory, under which jurisdiction will you, will you be judged? 
Not being an expert, I would say it's uh, by our uh, laws because I'm part of this community. So all those indigenous tribes in Colombia, are they somehow related, all of them, or they're really, since long time, they're like separated? They're independent and very different to each other. Uh, some of them have uh, some um, links between each other. The thing is that, as you may know, the, through the Bering uh, st uh, stretch, uh, they crossed to, Amer to the Americas from Asia and then started coming down. In some points they separate each other. Yeah? So for example, the Muisca people, that was uh, the people that uh, inhabited these lands, the Savannah of Bogota, have a close relation between the Sierra Nevada cultures, like the Kogis, the Arawakos, uh, with the people for, from, from this side. Yeah? So, because we are in the same mountain range, or they, they, they cross the, the, the Americas this way. But if you go to the Pacific coast, they are quite different. Or, or if you go to the Amazon's jungle, they, they are quite different. Yeah? The languages are completely different, and the culture itself. Mm -hmm. yeah? They have some, something, some relationships, but it's uh, mostly not. Interestingly, also in Me Too, in the Amazon, Sarah told me there are different uh, indigenous populations, different tribes, and they don't understand each other because they have their own language. Yeah, yeah I mean, that happened a lot here. Uh, as I said, the diversity here is huge. Uh, we had, I mean, we recognized some of the biggest ones, for example, in San Agustin, we found where is the archaeological park, we, we had, uh, there are big civilization that share a, a language, but with the conquest of the Spaniards, they lost a lot of that. I mean, for example, the Muiscas were completely uh, killed, say in a way, the culture. Yeah, we have some heritage, but mostly uh, they are, I mean, lost. Yeah, the language is completely lost. It was forbidden uh, by, the, by the Spaniards in some point of the colony. Uh, so that made the culture to, to just uh, be lost. Ethnics and cultures in Colombia, it's not just the indigenous, it's also like the, the normal population. Yeah, something that happened in Colombia also, uh, in a different way than in Mexico or in Peru, is that we mixed a lot. Yeah, in, in Mexico you can see the features of the, of the people are, is, is very indigenous and in Peru as well, and a lot of population has it still. But in here what happened is, is that we, we mixed between the, the white people, the Spaniards, uh, the African people and the indigenous people, the locals, yeah? So all of these uh, and other cultures, of course, uh, from the world that arrived here to the Americas during the colony uh, made like a mixture, yeah? So we are called mestizos because of that. The mestizo is like the, the mixture of the races, yeah? Uh, and most of the population is a mestizo, yeah? We still have some white people, uh, but mostly is mestizos. Uh, about 3 or 3.5% of the population of Colombia, that is 50 million people, is catalogued or uh, as, a, as an indigenous, yeah? As a part of a group of indigenous people. It's quite a lot, I would say, but still, I mean, it's uh, mostly mestizos, yeah? And th this is the process that happened in the colony. And how did it happen? So, if you take, for example, the population of uh, of Bucaramanga, it looks quite different to the population of Medellin. Yeah, I can I can talk about uh, a more clear comparison. For example, the people from the Caribbean coast, uh, from Cartagena, Barranquilla, and the people from the central part of Colombia. If you look at the features, it's different because the, most of the population, or a lot of the population that arrived to, to, to Cartagena, to the Caribbean coast. Uh, was brought by, by the slavery, yeah? So a lot of black people from Africa was brought to the Americas and then a lot of population there mixed with some of the whites and some of the indigenous but remained more uh, black, yeah? more African. In this part of the country is different because not that many slaves, uh, slaves arrived and uh, the population of indigenous people wa was higher. So the, the, the mixture is different. It's just but different. then you go to the Pacific coast and for example to Cali and again you have uh, the people are much uh, darker. You have more yeah. Afro influence. Yeah, I mean there are many many processes. It's quite complicated to, to see each uh, case. But sometimes uh, some people, some slaves, escaped from these cities and started making their own towns. They started uh, colonizing also some, some territories. And this is why we find some, uh, some places that are mostly dark. This is, this is why. Okay, so we can say in Colombia, actually, the, the only places where you have the pure races are the indigenous tribes, where they don't mix with, with other ethnics. Mostly, I would say so, yeah. yeah. I and mean, the, the, the people that is uh, away from the central parts of, or the big cities, yeah, because the Western civilization is uh, getting into them. Yeah? So, for example, if you expect to go to the, to the Amazons and uh, see people still with uh, their, their costumes, very traditional, 
this is uh, a romantic idea of the indigenous people. Right now, it's, it's not like that. They dress like us, I mean, it's uh, how the society and the civilization arrived, uh, but they are still indigenous people, yeah? They still believe in their cosmology, uh, they still have their languages, uh, so it's, it's still something very authentic, although we don't see them living in the jungle and uh, hunting with the, with the arrows, and the, yeah? mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's quite different, but they are still indigenous people. And what's the, the outlook in Colombia for all those different the ethnics? Are there some processes in place to preserve that and to protect uh, ethnics or is it just free market, let's say? No, actually there are some uh, laws that protect the, the languages, for example. Uh, there is a law from 2010, if I'm not wrong, uh, that says that these people, these indigenous people, have the right to be attended uh, when they contact the Western civilization or us uh, in their own language. So they, they, they have the right to go to the uh, social services, the health insurances, and have a translator to, 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 to talk to them, with them, to, to help to make the, this bridge of language. So uh, it's some pray on paper it's like that on practice well it's, it's something by by region we have to evaluate that on, in, in, if this is working and uh, yeah since 1991 as we already said uh, they have uh, in the Constitution the right and uh, to, to protect their own culture and to be recognized as uh, as they want to be recognized mm -hmm. from their their heritage but there is for example also support uh, from the government to indigenous communities for example they have free access to health care right yeah it's uh, it's uh, easier I would say and for example they have uh, places in some universities that have some arrangements with these kind of communities that uh, make them uh, pay less for example or have uh, places in the universities and uh, they have a presence in the Congress as well um, to, to, to have a voice Uh, in the in the governorship of, of Colombia as well. So that's it. A uh, brief overview about population and ethnics here in Colombia. If you like our information, uh, please subscribe our channel, hit the bell, send us your comments, uh, and hope to see you soon in Colombia or back on our channel. Greetings from Colombia. Bye bye.